Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have an interesting news and it's coming from the guys at Pixiologic. So, Pixiologic has actually gone ahead to release a pretty cool tool known as ZBrush Core Mini. Now, this tool is totally free for anyone who wants to get started with ZBrush. And for the most part, while you go ahead to see how the interface looks like, you would see that it is actually stripped down to the basic and to the core things that you need for sculpting now there are certain brushes that is available for you there are certain material types that are available for you and on the other hand there are also certain functionalities that you would probably want to get you know started with whenever you are trying to sculpt that has been made available now i did see that a lot of people were you know comparing this alongside sculptrice pro but that is something totally different simply taking a look at the zbrush core mini right now you would notice it's much more cleaner and the way it is built is for anyone who is trying to get into sculpting so a couple of things that you get from sculptures pro you don't get to see them but for the most part you can simply use this tool to get a couple of things so if you're trying to sculpt stuff that you want to print you can simply download it install it and start sculpting away now while you're trying to get started with sculpting there are two main meshes that you'll be able to have access to the very first one is the sphere while the second one is more like a brick like rock material that you can start sculpting so if you're trying to get something that you can use for 3d printing you probably want to lean towards the other one and on the other hand if you're also trying to export certain stuff you might be a bit limited with what you can export as the zbrush core mini itself gives you opportunity to export obj file for 3d printing and of course you can simply export this file to another dcc app when you want to render this stuff on the other hand, there is also some pretty innovative stuff that you can now do with a tool like this. One of them is exporting these as images. So if you proceed to export these as images, there are certain image types that these actually support. So one of the image types that you can get here is the image 3D PNG. There is also another pretty cool image type known as the image 3D GIF format. And these images, if you simply proceed to open them as default images, you are only going to have them as default images. But if you're trying to open them directly into ZBrush Core Mini, they are all going to open up as 3d object similarly to what you have with marvelous designer but then there is also an option for you to export these as zbrush project file so you can go ahead and also upload this on the internet and because the file size right now doesn't seem to be something that will be too heavy you can upload these and you can also download you know the png or you know the gif file of other persons that you have within the community and also load them directly into the zbrush core mini and start working with it so this makes a lot of sense and of course i think this is going to cost for some collaboration and for those who want to get started with zbrush or you know you want to get started with sculpting i guess this tool is like the best tool for you to actually lay your hands on it's pretty cool to see that the guys from pixelogic are giving this tool out for free and owing to the fact that pixelogic has come a long way it is making a lot of sense to see that they have a tool that is mimicking exactly what you can get within the zbrush core itself and the zbrush as a main tool that you can now use for free the ui for me makes a lot of sense as it is very easy for anyone who wants to get into sculpting to find their way around and you know limiting the options that you have for me this makes a lot of sense now if you want to get this i'm going to put a link in the description where you can get it and once you start looking at the zbrush core mini alongside you know zbrush zbrush itself you would notice that they are setting you know discrepancies like i said earlier this tool is actually made for persons that wants to get into sculpting now the whole brushes that they've made or the brushes that they've made available are the core brushes that you use particularly i don't really use more than just three to four brushes and those three to four brushes have been made available right here at the same time there are certain features that anyone that's coming into zbrush for the first time shouldn't really bother about and they've actually gone ahead to take those things out about the number of polygons that this can handle right now we don't know the amount of polygon that this can handle but owing to the footage which we saw we are looking at some extreme high numbers that's ranking all the way to approximately 150,000. so probably this is still going to carry the same you know load that typical zbrush carries and also if you're trying to get started with this you might probably want to take a look at some of the zbrush courses that has been kept online 
and probably this one will help you and you know you can get started with it the only caveat for me or the only thing which i feel that if you're trying to get into sculpting you might probably need which doesn't exist here is alphas so there is no alpha and also we don't see an option for you to be able to paint your textures so i think the whole idea is if you're trying to get into sculpting this is basically the tool for you but if you're trying to get into fanciful stuff like maybe playing with textures playing with alphas do you probably need to get the main zbrush tool itself or you can actually go ahead and get the zbrush core and simply get started with working with it plugins and other things does not apply with this as this is a stripped down version of zbrush and you might definitely find this very interesting if you just want to start working with it there's also something which you have to have an idea about as right now i think the as right now, I guess there is a couple of downloads that might be going on and there are certain restrictions that has been made as the guys from ZBrush has actually stated on the website that this system allows a maximum of five downloads within any 24 hour period. And of course, for those who will be asking what is the difference between these and also the difference between the Sculptris Pro, I'm also going to put a link in the description for you to download both the Sculptris Pro and also link in the description where you would also be able to download the ZBrush Core and play with it. Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace